Traders, welcome back to our price action training lesson. For today's lesson, we're going to be looking at S&P 500 and mini futures. And the structure of the market right now is indicating trend range. We have spike down, spike up, spike down, flat to M bar, EMA, the supportive indicator. I can see that this downtrend has two legs up, one leg up, break, second leg up. Market moves in pairs of twos. Downtrend created a break and moved to new extreme. So pretty much price action rules played out. So now that I can see prices breaking the EMA, it is definitely reasonable for me to expect some stronger bullish reversal them. Because downtrend played out, we are in a trend range, so we expect prices to go higher. So I'm going to draw my short term uptrend a little bit wider like this and notice what happened. Why we didn't test the new high? We have massive bearish reversal all the way down here and new low was created. This low exceeded this lowest low right here. So this is already a first potential sign that the market may be more bearish than I initially anticipated. So as you can see, I'm working with the price action, reading the candlesticks in front of you because they are telling me intentions of market participants. Now, if I'm going to draw another uptrend, we have potential felt second entry short. It ended up working for a scalp, but the single bar is not ideal. We have tiny overshoot. There's a bearish body, so I'm going to be careful, but we had the quick little scalp. Now we have a break and a new extreme and market push all the way down again. And we have another push down. So now I have to reassess why these bullish reversal attempts are failing so hard. If this is a trend and structure, we can't even break the middle, let alone test this resistance. So when I can see so many lower highs and so many lower lows, even though wider channel doesn't happen as often in trend ranges, this spike and a channel fits really well and this was the channel i was using today because it fits off the highs fits off of these lows so many low highs so many low lows so now that i've identified the channel it is a little bit easier for me to predict what's going to happen because it's not acting as a string range there is a weak bearish bias so i'm not thinking about buying i want to see correction playing out and i want to go short at the top of the move and this is interesting we have new high first entry long pull back second entry long failure confirming our downtrend our key entry point you can see every single time prices reach this key entry point there was a new push phase that started the uptrend has a break attempt to test the new high and because there's a trend line it can be considered enough and this is first great hyperlite setup felt Second entry long, great signal bar, closing below EMA, quick, easy scalp, quite a big one. Runner got stopped out and market is pushing higher. So now that I observe market correcting, what I like to do is I like combining the downtrend with a small consolidation, small resistance because EMA is flattening and you expect prices to have some resistance around this price level. Why? Well, because if I'm going to project the one leg, copy it and put it here. This is the approximate price level where you expect the measure move to go to. You have one leg break, broad second leg to new extreme. So you can see we have a break and a new high. So our chump played out. We're going very sideways so we can combine trigger rules, sell high with the downtrend working lower. And now we have new low, first entry short, pull back, second entry short. So this right here is a second entry short of the resistance. Two legs up, we expect market to test the new extreme following the trend line rule. And this is great setup. We're selling high, can get a little high. We have a little high here. We expect new low for the downtrend, remember. But look at the massive bullish bar breaking above EMA. This is a problem. Once I see this, I want something more because why we have such a massive bullish bar now? It didn't even trigger here. As you can see, it stalled. There was no break below this bullish bar. So no reason to worry about this. There was no trigger. It ended up working nicely, actually. But when you have such a massive bar above EMA, it's very hard to take it. But there was no trigger anyway, so no problem. So now we have a break and a new extreme. So I'm going to be pausing, looking to go short. At this point, I would like to see some... Okay, we're breaking lower. I would like to see some false second entry short above EMA because from this perspective, all the actions played out, even the shorter term one. I have a leg down, break new low. This one has a break in new extreme as well. So I'm going to draw my channel a little bit wider because there's no reason right now to expect market to go lower. So I like to see felt second entry short above EMA. We have doji and notice what happened. Bottom completely dropped 
And now I have to reassess. What's going on here? We're not going back into train range. EMA held. So now that this is happening, another strong rejection. We have another push down only for a century short. Can't really take it. Uptrend is in play only for a century. But I have to redraw right now to a different pattern, okay? I don't want to have these candles on a chart without a pattern. So I'm going to draw trend line off of these highs, the first two swings, third swing confirmation. I'm going to copy it. Put it at the bottom like this. And market keeps dropping lower again. There is no overshoot because we have one bounce here, second bounce here. So it confirms the trend channel line. This is decent medium trend working lower. Another push down again. So for this reason, I like to draw it a little bit wider, not cut the corner here like this with the break and extreme because the wider one just fits better. It looks like in play series of lower highs and low lows. So as you can see, we evolved from weaker downtrend into more of a medium downtrend. So the bias is still bearish. You want to sell at the key entry point something like this. We're definitely not thinking about buying. Okay, I'm going to draw the short uptrend. You have a new low for a century short, second entry short, but I don't like selling below the bull bar. You can consider the bull bar entry. It ended up working, but you know, it's getting a little bit stacked. You don't have much room here. The correction looks like it's going to be stronger because you're quite going sideways here. You know, you're struggling to break the low every single time. You know, it worked for a scalp. Only if you have better bar, maybe next time on your chart, we can mark it a little bit more aggressive, but it's better to be patient because we can also argue for trend line to be a little bit tighter like this, but overall it is not as clean. So it's better to be patient. Matching lows, redrawing a brand new uptrend again. And I can see EMA is flattening a lot. In fact, we have spike down, spike up, spike down, spike up, spike down, spike up, spike down. So as you can see, there's some small trend range being established, something like this, because EMA is time to flatten. It's no longer resembling clear trend working lower. So I'm going to combine once again, I'm going to do something similar as we did all the way up to here. As you can see, EMA is flattening. There's still bearish bias, but I can use resistance to help me predict where the smart sellers are going to sell. So we're going to do the same thing here because EMA is flattening, part of this downtrend. So we want to sell high if we can. And notice what we have. We have one leg up, break, second leg up, new low, first entry short, pull back, second entry short. This is not only second entry short. This is also variation of a triple test. Bounce here, bounce here, bounce here. This is the area where you expect sellers to step in. You're selling high, uptrend played out, and this is great. High probability setup. Okay. Now we have a lower high. Can we take it? No. Not only the single bar is very weak doji. Problem is, we already bounced off the support. And this is a problem because the leg down, the momentum already happened. Now you're bouncing off of this support. So there's a chance prices may reverse working hard because it's very close for sellers to consider this new extreme. You can see how many times the support held. So even if the single bar is a little bit better, I don't really like taking this. Even had there been a better bar, you can't really take it because you're so close to these lows. And more importantly, you already made a push down to the support. And now prices are turning higher. And I have to ask myself, why we're not reaching to test the new low? This is a little bit more nuanced. It is tempting to sell, and I saw a couple of traders selling. Technically, it's not a bad idea to sell here. Problem is, it's more nuanced because this was really the area after two legs up, you expect prices to test the new low. Why we have quintuple bounce here, we're going higher, why there was no new extreme, this means there has to be some stronger pullback. So I don't like selling here. I like to be patient here. But if you sold here, I can see why it actually gave you a chance to exit the break even because you placed your stop loss one thing about the single bar, you still survived, came back, so you can consider taking break even. But it's not the best setup to sell given the fact that we didn't test the new low and we already bounced off the support. For this reason, I cannot sell here, I cannot sell here. Now, this is confirming, okay, now we may test the new low technically. Can I get a lower high below EMA? Yes, but I cannot sell here. Why? Because once again, no room for scalp. You have a fellow second entry along here. Actually, this is still part of the lower high, but problem still remains. You simply have no room to scalp. You have only a few ticks, and this is not good. Even though bottom dropped, you know, 
you can't really cherry pick it's very hard to sell right into these lows but it's much better now because now you finally push below EMA and you get the confirmation okay range held the downtrend is about to get new extreme which we have break new extreme for the downtrend that doesn't mean I can go long though because you don't want to fade here because you trade it down this is just tiny consolidation part downtrend don't think about buying you want to see proven uptrend first there is a decent felt second entry short here new level first entry short second entry short failure but signal bar is rather like luster it's not flat to EMA and when the trend down is this strong and long you like to see some proven uptrend small break new high break below EMA okay so in case you're playing any wider uptrend you have to adapt because you have a small break new extreme we have congestion so this right here is a felt breakout out of the congestion most breakouts will fail but it is an inside bar it didn't trigger here so there's pretty much no way to take it but we would like to see matching lows come reset we would like to see first entry short pullback higher second entry short can get it there is no pullback market keeps dropping lower keeps dropping lower and it keeps dropping lower now this is very strong push phase and i have to ask myself what's going on here why have to break a new stream for the downtrend prices keep so strongly trending lower okay remember there is equilibrium in the market you have to periodically zoom out you cannot just have a time vision focus on this like because there's a push phase correction phase push phase correction phase push phase and push phase can be overextended so i'm looking for some wider channel now of course because we are trending lower after this breaking extreme and the best channel i like to draw is something like this off of these highs connecting this but it's not well fitting channel i have two bounces here fits pretty well so we have overshoot and you can tell how overextended this was it's just drop lower we're far from the ema it looks like overextended push phase if you draw it wider there are no confirmations and you're still bouncing off the trend channel line so expect stronger pullback but because we have two bounces here i like respecting the overshoot so i'm going to draw a channel wider because overshoot can lead to what breakout trend line or possible reversal so i gotta be careful so i'm not thinking about selling at the same time i'm not thinking about buying i cannot go long on a day where we were trending down the entire day okay there's just no way even though you have overshoot sometimes the channel may end up being a little bit wider and you may have a brand new push phase down so you can't risk it okay so you can't go long at the same time you can't go short because you expect stronger pullback so this is waiting area once again as a trader you need to be comfortable with these areas of indecisions because there are areas on the chart where you cannot go long or short at the same time sometimes traders have a hard time understanding this they think that okay if i'm not going long i have to short actually no because exactly here you know that there's probably going to be stronger pullback you have overshoot but given the overwhelming bearish daily bias you just cannot go long yet so no shorts and no longs okay we have uptrend working higher something like this I have to withdraw short and down trim working lower something like this clean leg down felt second inch long but you know this was a massive correction I want to start selling only after I have stronger down to work and over some massive push down. We're back above EMA. Okay, so at this point it starts to look like this option is going to get new high. You have new low, first entry short, pullback, second entry short, failure. So this right here is a felt second entry short, while the uptrend needs to get new extreme. And this is decent. Setup the single bar is a bit weak, but context wise it makes sense. Breaking new high, and now it's getting a little bit too late. And lo and behold, I'm gonna zoom back the downtrend great price action has a break move to new extreme typical because overshoot can create stronger pullback now we have a break push to new extreme and the new low was tested but you can't really trade this live we had earnings announced this late so this is the overall structure for today break in new extreme we started with slow weak downtrend but you can tell there is a bearish imbalance because reversal attempts are very small and they're failing you can sell high and when the bottom dropped, you need to look for additional downtrend. There was a more of a medium downtrend. And a few good setups. Quite a long area here without a setup. But it's okay. That is part of trading. Either way, I'm going to wrap it up. I hope you had a great trading day. I'm going to talk to you next time. Good luck with your trading.